Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, October 17th. I'm Madison Carter. And I'm Jamie Hughes. Happy homecoming. We hope you've all been enjoying the TV network theme homecoming week. I certainly have been. Today we have recaps from the Powder Puff game and night rally from earlier this week. And next week you can expect highlights from today's day rally, the varsity football game, and the casual homecoming dance. It's going to be one crazy fun day here at Antelope. And Titan TV will be there for all of it. The Senior Lady Titans took home the title of Powderpuff Champions on Tuesday night. Tamia Chanel, Kyle Swanigan and I were there to bring you the highlights. On Tuesday night, the annual Homecoming Powderpuff football game was held in the stadium. In the first game, the Senior Lady Titans played the freshmen. In the second half, the first touchdown of the evening was scored by senior Sarah Eckenweiler, with the extra point being run in by Cameo Warren, putting the seniors ahead by seven. With time dwindling, freshman Anaya Walker's pass to Katie Carpenter in the end zone put the freshman on the board with six points. However, the freshman ladies were unable to score the extra point that would tie the game, and the seniors advanced to the final 7-6. to six. Here on the football field for the Powder Puff 2014, with Katie Carpenter and Anaya Andrews from the freshman football team, Powder Puff team. Uh, how do you guys feel you did tonight? In the second game, the juniors played the sophomores. The juniors came out strong in the first half, scoring two touchdowns and one extra point. Even with solid offensive runs by Mackenzie Dredge, the juniors left the sophomores in the dust, 13-0. <laughs> Before the final game, the Powderpuff cheerleaders took to the field to perform their halftime routine. Final game of the evening. The seniors played the juniors in an upperclassman game. The seniors quickly moved the ball up the field, giving Cameo Warren the opportunity to score. The juniors countered the seniors with Keani Barron scoring a touchdown for the juniors. The the with a final score of 7-6, the seniors beat the juniors at this year's Powder Puff game. Congratulations to the seniors for Channel 5 Titans. The male cheerleaders at Powderpuff weren't the only cheerleaders with an awesome routine. Bailey Hawkins and I talked to senior comp cheer captain Alexis Roberts about their first competition victory on Saturday. Cheer had a competition on Sunday at Great America and we placed first out of four teams. Um, we did really well for our first competition considering that we had a lot of seniors on the team last year that kind of led us and this year it's a lot of freshmen and new people. Um, I'm really looking forward to the upcoming season and going back to Orlando and doing a little bit better than we did before. The Titan victories don't stop there. On Saturday, the marching band traveled to Oakmont for the first field show of the season. Reporters Alex Bittner and Sergi Ischuk talked to assistant drum major junior Safira Olson about the band's win. We got first place in our division and our opening song was the best musical performance of the night according to the judges and I'm really looking forward to Del Oro this Saturday. We're going to be even better. We're going to Washington DC for the National Independence Day Parade. We're going to be marching right in front of the Capitol building. It's going to be about $200,000 to get there and we have this GoFundMe page. So we're hopefully going to get there. We're raising the funds. On Wednesday, student government held the annual homecoming night rally in the amphitheater. The night was a huge success with more than 500 students and community members in attendance. Reporters Mason Lagerstrom and Rachel Seinhart were there. Let's give it up for our Titan. town that can wear tight pants. You got it? I will end you. <laughs> Don't wake the snake. Football, basketball, big old basketball. 
Representing your Titan family is an honorable student of all four years. Ryan Mitchell, baseball, AHS, student guy, very well rounded and treats others with positive fashion and with respect. Caroline Grande, cross country, soccer, student guy, hoping that you're a role model that others can look up to, and this school has contributed to who you are today. And here's Haley Brooks with your ASB Minute. Good morning. I'm Haley Brooks, and this is your ASB Minute. I hope all of you are having a great homecoming week and enjoyed the Powder Puff game and night rally. Tonight, Student Government's annual sidewalk march starts at 5.30 and begins on Alberta Road, turns onto Titan Drive, and walks into the Red Zone tailgate at 6 p.m. Teachers and students, the alumni reception starts at 5.30 p.m. in the cafeteria to welcome all Titan alumni back before the home game. Feel free to stop by and see what our alumni are up to. The varsity boys football team hosts the Consumnus Oak Wolfpack tonight at 7 p.m. At the halftime show, cheer, dance, and drama will have special performances. Led by the band and color guard, the class backdrops will be displayed at the track. The show will be concluded with the announcement of your homecoming senior royalty voted on by, the, voted on by you this entire week. Today during school, you can buy your homecoming t dance tickets for $5 with ASB and $7 without. Tickets go up to $10 at the door, so get them now. The dance starts at 9.30 p.m. and ends at 11.30 p.m. Come out after the game and enjoy music, dancing, karaoke, Wii games, and board games. The big homecoming rally is less than three hours away, so get pumped. And good luck to all four classes at the rally. Now back to Jamie and Madison. Thanks, Haley. That's all for your Friday news, Titans. Good luck to all of the classes at the rally today. And good luck to the varsity football team tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone at the homecoming dance. Me too. It's been one heck of a week. Stay tuned after the credits to watch Charles Lemon and Kyle Swanigan's Take to the Streets to ask students questions related to this week's Spirit Days. Have a great day, Titans. And an even better weekend. How's it going, Titans? I'm Kyle Swanigan, and this week I've been walking around campus asking you guys questions based on the Spirit Days, and you guys answer to what apparently is the best of your ability. Well, all right, let's take to the streets. All right, guys, we're here with Noel Manis, and um, it's Spirit Week, as you all know. So do you know what today is all about, the theme of today? It's the Big Bang Theory Day. Someone who... Nerd Day, all right, someone who knows what they're talking about. Do you ever watch the Big Bang Theory? Actually, I never really got into that show, so no, I haven't watched it. You haven't watched it? Have you ever tried at all, getting into it? I have tried once or twice, still never really able to get into like the whole show. Can you spell Raj's complete name for me? Oh, uh, R... J... I'm sorry, but it is R-A, and I don't actually know the rest of his name. All right, so how about this? Go ahead and sing the theme song for us. <laughs> we tried. All right, all right, cool. We got some spirited young gents here. All right, so we're going to ask you a few trivia questions here. So you, I'm going to have you list as many characters as possible from the show. Three, two, one, go. Faster. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, for one, how about you, sir? Um, what is an MMORPG? It's a bazooka. <laughs> it's a bazooka, he says. Bazinga it is, fellas. All right, thank you very much. Well, you seem like a very nerdy character yourself, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, what is an FPS? I don't know. Ooh, he doesn't know. What about an MMORPG? What's that? It is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, sir. And now you know. All right, so as you know, it's college game day. I'm just going to ask you a few random questions, some sports trivia. So let's start off with how many players are on the field in a game of football per team? Per team? Per team. Um, 11. 11. All right. He seems to know what he's talking about. Do you know what the NCAA stands for? National College Athletic Association. Oh, two for two. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Okay, let's go with who is the vice president of the United States? Barack Obama. Barack Obama apparently is our first black vice president. Thank you ever so much. All right. All right, so I'm just going to ask you a few sports questions, college game day related stuff, whatnot. All right, so what is the number one team in the nation right now? What? <laughs> what is not a sports team? All right, all right, let's, let's go with something else. What does ESPN stand for? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um. I watch you feel like all the time. I don't know this. Um, I feel it. I don't know it either. Something sports. Something. Mm. Sp <laughs> something sports. There we go. What does NCAA stand for? Yo, I don't know, and I don't care. Ah, he doesn't know, and he doesn't care. Go, go, school spirit. Am I right? I um. Here, how about another sports question? How many home runs make up a birdie? I don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I want you to know those are two different sports I just mentioned. Uh -oh. How do you feel now? A man of God. A man of God. Well, guys, you heard it yourself. Thank you. That's irrelevant. All right, so as you know, today is Ty's and Tiara's day for Spirit Week. You know, it's the last real big day before homecoming, so I'm just going to ask you a few random questions about Ty's and Tiara's. Um, let's start with how many ways can you tie a tie? Three. Three. Did you know that there's actually 177,147 different ways to tie your standard tie? I was close. You were very close. Um, how many royal people can you name? Um, nobody. Nobody. All right. oh, nobody. 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 How many tie knots can you name? It's a good question. I don't know. Don't know? All right. Um, what, make, what do you think makes a person royalty? Money, power, and clothing. Money, power, clothing. I like that answer. I like that answer. All right, so what do you think ties and tiaras really represent in society and whatnot? All the good stuff. Oh, the good stuff. Um, or the bad stuff. Um, I'm not going to answer the bad stuff. But the good stuff, it can show off what you know, like how to dress and your fashion statement. That's pretty much the only one I got. All right, fashion, good enough for me. Thank you.